All right, the brother's bringing out. Y'all listening to what he's bringing out? All the way. All praise to the Most High, all right? All praise to the Most High. Now, I heard what you said earlier about the Bible, all right? And I just want to real quick say that the Bible is necessary for our people. It's necessary for our people, all right? The Bible is what's going to fix you as an individual, all right? The Bible's going to do that. The Bible's going to build a strong marriage. Are you married? You working on it, all right? Are you married? You say, hell no, nah. damn. All right, you must have had some experiences growing up. How old are you? 20. 20, what you done learned about marriage in 20 years? You see what I'm saying? All right, so so look, the Bible is going to build a strong marriage. That's right. Even if a marriage is, is weak right now, what are you going to use to make it strong? That's right. You're gonna use the Bible. That's right. That's what you're gonna to use to make the marriage strong. Get up. All right. So after you have fixed yourself as an individual, right. and you were able to build someone up and teach a wife and get her to become who you need her to be as a help for you, and you have a strong marriage according to God's word, then you can go out and do what? Then you can build a congregation. That's what you see here. Right. These purple shirts were part of Israel united in Christ. Right. We teach God's laws. We teach the Messiah is a black man. We teach we gotta fear him and keep his commandments. Right. You understand? That's what we teach. Now we can go out into the community as a congregation, right? That's the, as, as a whole to fix who now? To fix our nation. To fix our people. You understand? To fix the 12 tribes that you see right here of Israel. To fix all 12 tribes. Now we're going out to the community to fix the so-called Negro. To fix the so-called Mexican, yes, the so-called Puerto Rican, Teach. the so-called Dominican. That's what we're doing now. But without the Bible, how will we be able to do any of that? Bring it out. How will we be able to do any of that? All right, so oftentimes, give me uh, Psalms chapter 19. Oftentimes, we have been mistaught that this book right here does not apply to us. Bring it out. We've been taught that this Bible is the white man's book. Right. It's really not the white man's book. This is the blackest book you ever read. That's right. You understand? It's the blackest book you ever read. This book prophesies the destruction of the so-called white man. That's right. All right? This is not the white man's book. Read what you got. Psalms chapter 19 and verse 7. The law of the Lord is perfect. Wait, read that again. The law of the Lord is perfect. You know what the Bible said? The Bible said that God's laws are perfect. Right? So you might read this book and you might find some little imperfections here and there, some commas that wasn't there when it was translated from the Greek and the Hebrew. Then we say, oh, man wrote the Bible, throw it away, he forgot a comma. You understand? That's what we say. That's crazy. We say, oh, man wrote this book. It's, it cannot be true. It, can, it has to have errors. Okay, yeah, it has small errors here and there in the Bible. All right, mistranslations of words and acts you read about Easter that should have been the Passover. There's certain things there, but what does the Bible say about his law, though? Right. What does it say about his law? Read it again from the top. The law of the Lord is perfect. It say it's perfect. That's right. It's perfect. God's laws are perfect. There's no refuting that. You understand? God's laws are perfect. That's right. Thou shalt not kill. What's imperfect about that? I can't argue that. What's imperfect about that? Teach. You enjoy murder in your community? Yeah. Huh? Nope. You see them uh, them cameras right there? What you think that they for? Right. Huh? What you think they for? Maybe y'all got the surveillance to that in y'all houses. Y'all can watch it on y'all TV. It's a neighborhood watch. And all the Negroes in the community run it. Right? That's what that is? Project. Huh? That's what that is? It's a project. Ran by who? The white man. You understand? The so-called white man. That's who it's ran by. Right. All right? The Bible says, thou shalt not kill is perfect. Thou shalt not steal. You want your homie stealing from you? Why, why, why so many of our brothers, why so many of our brothers walk around strapped today? Teach. Why so many of our brothers walk? Why though? Why? 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 Because you're not the only one out here that's walking around like that. If you was, you probably wouldn't have that on. You understand? Right. So, so why is it that so many of our brothers walk around strapped? Maybe my sister can answer. Maybe my sister can answer. My sister right here. Why so many of my brothers walk around the neighborhood strapped? Why is that? Is it for because they like the way it feel on their waist? Help me understand. Y'all quiet now. Y'all scaring me. All right, y'all scaring me. Y'all got to talk to me. All right, so. Huh? What, what, why is it? I'm protecting. I'm going to ask you, little baby. I'm going to ask you. Why, why, why is it? I'm trying to keep the peace out here. You trying to keep the peace? I'm like this. I ain't from here. All right. Since I've been out here, 
Yeah. It's been wicked. And it's like it's this, been, like, tell me about the wickedness, though. Right, Paint so the picture for me. What you see? You got broad day drive-bys. Broad day drive-bys. You got people out here robbing, mobbing. People out here doing what? Mobbing and robbing. People out here mobbing yeah. and robbing. Yeah. It's, the, it's the hood. Anything so, that you'll get in your average hood. You know what I'm saying? Right. So that's where we at right now, right? That's where we get out so, of the family. So you tell me, does this neighborhood need what we just read? Read it again. The law of the Lord is perfect. Thou shalt not kill. Read it again. The law of the Lord is perfect. Thou shalt not steal. Come on. Converting the soul. Thou shalt not commit adultery. What's that going to do for our little children, babies growing up? Gee. Mamas and daddies in the home. Daddy ain't, ain't got the, the, the jank crossed away. You understand? She, he, ain't, he ain't coming. He ain't got two phones. You know what I'm saying? He ain't coming home late at night. You know what I'm saying? Because he's been working that overnight shift. Right? He ain't doing nothing. You know, the, the, the woman can, can safely trust that her husband is doing what he's supposed to do. The man can safely trust that while he working, you understand? The, his, his, his baby mama, his wife, because she ain't a baby mama no more. You understand? His wife ain't, a, ain't, ain't, ain't across the hall. You understand? She's not downstairs. She, she not at the laundry mat. You know what I'm saying? She's not there. That's not what she is. Because she's safely trusting you, you safely trusting her. Right. You understand? That's perfect. That's, right. That's going to convert your soul. All right, so when we're talking about the Bible here, the laws of the Lord are perfect. We need these things in our community. That's right. Thou shalt not commit adultery. That's perfect. Thou shalt not bear false witness. How many of our brothers locked up right now because our sisters then lied on them to the police? Jeez. And they called the police, told the white man to lie. Now, my, now he locked up. You know what I'm saying? Now he, now he got a record. Now you can't get a good job, you understand? Because this sister want to call and tell lies to the police. How many of our sisters do that in the ghettos today we live in? You understand? Right, so what does the Bible say? Thou shalt not bear false witness. What does the Bible say about that? Read it again from the top. The law of the Lord is perfect. Thou shalt not bear false witness is perfect. You understand? It's perfect. We need that here. So the reason that I came up, because the brother's teaching well in the spirit, was to show you that God's laws are perfect. We need these things in our communities. Exodus what? chapter 17. I Bring think it's verse 14 that I want. All right? This Bible has been around for a long time. A very, very, very long time. And it's been here specifically for our people. All right? Is that what I want? Uh, verse 14. Verse 14. Yeah, read that. Yes, sir. Exodus chapter 17 and verse 14. And the Lord said unto Moses, Write this for a memorial in a book. What did the Lord tell Moses to do? Write this in it for a memorial in a book. What do you think this Bible is? This is what he told him to write. Right. This is what he told him to write. This is what we have today. Right. Was that it on that? Come on. And rehearse it in the ears of Joshua. And do what? Rehearse it in the ears of Joshua. If you're looking at Joshua. You're looking at Joshua. Joshua came up to teach the people. Right. You understand? He has the words that were recorded in the Bible. You understand? The same words that God gave Moses. Right? Moses gave Joshua. Gave Joshua why? So that he could give the community. Because there's a lot of killing going on out here. A lot of murder going on. A lot of adultery. You understand? A lot of drive-bys going on out here. You understand? Yeah. So we need the laws of God. To, to, to conform to the minds of the people so we can stop thinking that way right. so we can change our frame of mind of thinking right you think this is the only time was during the time of Moses where this was written no give me Isaiah chapter 30 read verse 8 yeah. this is this is this this Bible has been given over and over and over to God's prophets the men that God is dealing with the ones that can go into the scriptures the ones that's keeping God's commandments the ones that's actually living the things that they're teaching right. you understand not those pork chop eating Christian pastors at the church I'm not talking about them you understand right. not talking about them read you got Isaiah chapter 30 verse 8 well, now go write it before them in a table and note it in a book note it where in a book note it where in a book call and read it Isaiah chapter 30 and verse 8. We're in Isaiah now. We're reading the same thing. Go to yeah. Jeremiah chapter 36. All right? So, Go to Jeremiah chapter 36. We're reading the same thing. Right. You understand? Over and over. Why? Because God is dealing with prophets at different points in time. That's right. At different points in time. That's right. And we're all living at the same time. But they always give me specific orders to do what? To pin this Bible that we have. Right. Come on. Isaiah, Jeremiah chapter 36 and verse 6. Therefore go thou and read in the roll which thou hast written from my mouth the words of the Lord. Did you hear that? 
Uh-oh. Did you hear what he said to do? Write it on the roll. That's just like a scroll today. Give me verse two. Verse two. Take the, take the, a roll of a book. Take a roll of what? Of a book. What'd you think that scroll was? That roll was? It's a book. That's, That's what right. it is. Right. That's what we have today. Right. This is the book. You thought that was it though. Let's go to the last book of the Bible. The book of Revelations. You understand? The book of Revelation. The last book of the Bible. What do you think it says? The same thing. Right. The same exact thing. Revelations chapter 1. I think it's verse 10. Yeah, read that for me, please. Revelation chapter 1 and verse 3. Blessed is he that readeth, and they that hear the words of this prophecy. God says blessed. You're blessed if you do what? If you read. You think he's supposed to be reading a newspaper? Huh? Or maybe you think he's supposed to be reading Time magazine. <laughs> Ebony? Huh? Some of y'all want to read the uh, the Hustler magazine. <laughs> the Playboy truck. Y'all know what I'm talking about. You think you'll be blessed if you read that? No, you're going to be cursed. Because you're going to be walking around here last talking about which one of these sisters can I take home with me tonight and then leave them tomorrow. That's what you're going to be thinking. Right? That's not what this Bible says. Read on. And keep those things. And do what? And keep those things. So the things that you read, you're supposed to keep. You're not just supposed to read the Bible and then not do the things that it says. You're supposed to read the Bible and then apply the things that you learn. Right. Come on. Which are written therein. For the time is at hand. For what? The time is at hand. Verse 11. Verse 11. Saying, I am Alpha and Omega. I am Alpha and Omega, right? That's the beginning and the end. Come on. That's what's recorded here. Come on. The first and the last. The first and the last. Come on. And what thou seest. What thou what? What thou seest. What thou what? What thou seest. So what you see, what I'm about to show you. What I'm about to show you. Come on. Right in a book. What the Bible say? Right in a book. How we know what Christ looked like? Because it's recorded That's in the same right. book that That's we're reading. Right. right. It's recorded right here. That's how we know that Christ looked like this. That's how we know that. What? Well, because it's for, but we say it's the white man's book. If this is the white man's book, if this is the white man's book, why does the Bible say that Christ looked like this? Verse 14. Verse 14. Come on. His head. And his hairs were white like wool. Who got woolly hair on the earth? T. Who got woolly hair on the earth? I'm looking at it right now. I'm looking at it right now. Yes, and man. all God's children, yes, I'm man. looking at it right now. Who got? I thought this was the white man's book, though. If it was the white man's book, why don't it say his hair was was stringy and straight, and it smelled like a dog? Why don't they say that? Right. Then we would have known exactly what's talking about this man right here. Right. If it said we would have known, we're talking about him. <laughs> He had blue eyes. Why don't say he had blue eyes? Come on, ready to get for the top. His head and his hands were white like wool. Wool is a texture. Who got woolly textured hair? The Negro has woolly right, textured hair. Right, right. Come on. As white as snow. Ready. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. They say his eyes was red. The whites of his eyes was red. Why? Because Christ lived in the ghetto too. Right. It was drive-bys going on. It was niggas living what Christ lived. Right. Niggas was trying to get him killed. Right. You understand? We don't think about these things when we read the Bible, though. Because we was told Christ was a white man. Christ ain't no white man. Right. Come on. That's real. And his feet like unto fine bread. His feet like unto what? Fine bread. His feet, his feet was like unto what? Fine bread. Remember we said what you see do what? Hey. What you see do what? What you see, do what? Write in a book. Right. What you see, write in a book. How did it look? As if they burned. Yeah, read up, read up. His feet was like what? His feet like a to fine bread. They say his feet was like a to fine bread. Yes, right. He's writing down what he sees. What thou seest, write in a book. Right. This is that book. You understand? What color was his feet? What color is brass? It's brown. What color are your feet? What color are the little baby's feet? Read it again so they can hear it. And his feet like unto fine brass. It say his feet was like unto fine brass. What color is brass? Brass. 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 It's like, you know what color, what color brass is brass? Brown. It's like brown. Now if I say hot brass, you know what I'm talking about. You understand what I'm saying? If I say, look, if I say, if I say hot brass, he know exactly what color that is, right? You just gotta put a hot in front of it, now he know what color it is. I'm gonna ask you again, what color is brass? Brown. It's brass. You see how easy that was? You see how we think in the ghetto? You understand? This is why we need the Bible. You think it's a coincidence?
to this guy say? He could have chose anything in the world. Because when you burn anything, what color does it turn? What color does it turn? No, if you burn rice, what color does it turn? Thank you. If you burn anything, what color does it turn? So he could have used anything. But for some reason, he said, I'm going to choose brass. Because I know the Negro is going to know what brass look like. You understand? I know he's going to know what brass look like. He ain't going to be able to tell me. I don't know what that look like. You understand what I'm saying? Read it again. And his feet like a tefine brass. See, his feet was like a tefine brass. Come on. As if they burned in a furnace. As if it what? As, as if they burned in a furnace. So it was like brass that you burned inside of a furnace. What color brass? You think it was a light color brass? Or a dark color brass? Because Christ was a very dark skinned man. That's what we're looking at right here. A very dark skinned man with woolly hair. His eyes are white. Where the white should be is red. Why? Because he drank wine. So he had red eyes. When your father, your grandfather, when they drink, what happened to their eyes? It turned red. It turned red. They said Christ was a wine bibber. His first miracle, he turned water into wine. You don't think he drank that? Come on, man. Come on. Come on. We reading about the Negroes in the Bible right now. You understand? This Bible has always been for us, and God's laws have always been Perfect. Hey. They've always been perfect. Now I'm going to ask you a question. Because the Chinese man, right? They have chronicles. If they want to learn about their history, they go to the chronicles. You understand? They can read about their history. Right? We know that the white man knows his history. Why? How do we know the white man knows his history? We can see it in the way that they act. You understand? They are culture versus. They take everything from everybody. Right. And that's even been documented. Right? But now when you think about the, uh, let's say the Japanese, they also have chronicles. We can see their culture in the way that they dress, right? In the way that they act, right? The way that they speak, right? What is the nation? Nation is men leading by example.